Even after the Jubilee Singers, the Fisk Jubilee Singers had been founded, there were other groups of Jubilee Singers who got together and toured the globe, and uh, Frederick Loudon was one of those uh, founders of another group of Jubilee Singers right, that right. went to Europe, sang for the Queen, yeah. and traveled all around the, the world through Australia and New Zealand and Japan. East, and and, yeah. East, yeah. and um, it was his niece, Leota mm. Henson, who was the pianist for that particular group. And she, as far as I know, is the first African-American woman to study piano at the Leipzig Conservatory in Leipzig, Germany. And and, and you turn me on to this story. That, <laughs> a, again, another fantastic, amazing story that's, you know, with a hidden figure in history. Right, you right. Know, a hidden figure. In history. Right. We dug up those photographs of her. There's some beautiful, beautiful photographs, photographs. Yeah, of yeah. the two of them, of uh, Loudon and Leota Henson, taken uh -huh. in Scotland. Gorgeous, gorgeous professional photographer. And really, uh, this is a history. You know, if it hadn't been for these typed pieces of paper. She had typed maybe 12 pages, yeah. just introducing herself and talking about her travels with the Jubilee Singers. And then she went on to found the first colored women's uh, YWCA in Detroit. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. These are the, this is the caliber of person who's, right. who's been connected with the Jubilee right. Singers. But that's what, that's what higher education does. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it gives you the, uh, I guess, um, it, it allows you to see what's needed in a community and, and build upon it and, and, and take the action, take the first step to that. And I, I just marvel at the industriousness mm -hmm. of those people right out of slavery. Right. And how, how energetic they were and how determined they were. You know, some to seven years of age determined to learn how to read after oh. years of being a slave. Yeah. You know, uh, um, going over, back over to Africa to be missionaries. Uh, mm -hmm. Just amazing, amazing story. They did so much with so much less than we have today. Right. Yeah, and right. That, that inspires me to, you know, get up out the bed <laughs> and try to do something with your life. You know, how yeah. your parents say, you need to do something with your life. Well, yeah, when you yeah. think about what they endured. If you would like to see more clips from the Noshing with Nina show, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell.